You can have all of the currently existing technology you want, but not even the military had widescreen computer monitors on board military aircraft running what looks like a DOS program in 1964. Got high visibility. Even though the US and the UK have a special relationship, I doubt a Brit like Zero would command a sensitive CIA operation. He said put out the cigar and put on your mask. Snake is doing everything he can to execute a halo jump incorrectly. Before attempting a halo jump, it's normal for the jumper to have a pre-breathing period of 30 minutes of pure oxygen to flush nitrogen from their bloodstream, and smoking beforehand can cause complications like hypoxia. Metal Gears don't even exist yet, yet the name is emblazoned across Snake's oxygen mask. That's not even a clever wink to the fans. The turkey deal was a ruse, a cover story that was fed to the other intelligence agencies around the world. So what did the Russians really want? Sokolov. The Soviets made a really bad deal, because Sokolov's creation is so stupid it would never pose a credible threat. According to our intelligence, he's in Selino Yask, a place in the mountains about three miles to the west that's known as the Virgin Cliffs. Sokolov already fled the USSR once, and he was so important to the Soviets they demanded his return in order to end the Cuban Missile Crisis. Then they stuck him on a research base right on the border with Pakistan where it would be easier for him to flee the country once more. Snake performed a halo jump on the Pakistan-Soviet border in order to secretly cross into the USSR. However, the map location of Salino Yarsk zooms in on eastern Soviet territory. The Virgin Cliffs. Nice name for a virtuous mission. You know the drill by now. Location and mission names have to align perfectly so Kojima can beat you over the head with his precious metaphors and symbolism. Once it's complete, the gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. The Fulton Surface to Air Recovery System. I'm familiar with the theory. You better be. It becomes a mechanic in a future game, though Kojima ditches realism to make it more gameplay convenient in Metal Gear Solid V. This will be a sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Absolutely no trace, like that oxygen mask with the U.S. Army emblem you threw on the ground after landing. Talk to me. Let me hear your voice. It's been five years, 72 days, and 18 hours. That's kind of creepy that Snake knows the exact amount of time since he last saw the boss. It's like a guy obsessing over how long a girl ghosted him on a text. Camouflage is an indispensable tool when you're sneaking through the jungle. To use camouflage, first press the start button to go to the survival viewer. Camo is a great gameplay addition, until you realize you have to go into a menu to change it every time you crawl over a different texture and you're no longer hidden. The only person who is a bigger Westaboo than Ocelot is Kojima himself. He's the Ocelot commander. <laughs> That's major Ocelot to you. Ocelot is a major, yet the insignia on his shoulder is for a captain. Makarov Ocelot just doesn't have the same ring to it. <laughs> I kind of wish Ocelot had kept meowing as a signal. You've created a time paradox. The snake, you can't go changing the future like that. If only the series was this strict about all the other events that have been changed or reinterpreted, this series wouldn't be such a retcon mess. That's what they were making you build. Yes, the Shagahod. The treading behemoth, a tank capable of launching nuclear IRBM. It can launch nuclear missiles from that kind of terrain? Oh yes, and without support from friendly units. A nuclear-equipped tank capable of operating solo. Absolute BS. A nuclear-equipped tank like the Shagohod would require an extensive support network, from refueling to maintenance to the runway it uses to logistics and targeting. In fact, the Shagohod makes the entire idea of launching a nuke far more complicated. Is that thing finished? No, this is only the end of Phase 1. It won't be truly finished until we complete Phase 2. The Shagohod is already mostly built. I think Soviet scientists could get it to phase two without Sokolov. Good work, Jack. What are you doing here? Sokolov comes with me. This makes the fourth time the person on the other end of a codec was a traitor in a Metal Gear game. <laughs> Somehow Snake didn't hear the hind right over his head. And yes, I'm aware that Sokolov and the fear are being pulled into the air by a swarm of hornets. I'm giving it two sins for that as well. I have waited long for this day. We will fight with you once more. Welcome back, boss. While the Cobra unit does make for some good boss fights, especially the end, character and plot-wise, they are the weakest rogues gallery in the series. They really only exist as boss fights with a unique gimmick. 
Kuwabara, Kuwabara. Weird that a Russian colonel would pick up a Japanese superstition. I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift from my new hosts. Recoilless nuclear warheads. Handing Sokolov to Volgan was likely enough. Giving Volgan a portable nuclear weapon, okay, maybe the boss really needed to seal the deal. But two nuclear warheads? At that point, were I Volgan? I would get suspicious over the amount of generosity. Ah. Huh? The boss is a masterclass in how to write a good female character in a game. Not every character detail needs an origin, like Snake's headband. I never assumed Big Boss even wore one since the eye patch was always his trait. Besides, we all know the real reason Snake and later Solid Snake wear a headband, and it's because that's what the Hollywood action heroes Kojima watched in the 80s wore. I don't think it's a good idea to nuke the research base right next to your own. Vulcan isn't exactly leaving this area, and he just irradiated it with fallout, and blowing up the base will only draw the attention of Khrushchev, not to mention possibly start a nuclear war between the US and the Soviets. Detonating a nuke that close to you while you're in a chopper carrying the Shagohod would likely knock you out of the air when the shockwave hits. This intro gets a sin taken off. It may just be a Bond homage, but I can acknowledge that it's a perfect one. Currently flying over the Arctic Ocean, altitude 30,000 feet. The Arctic Ocean is a strange location to launch your new mission from, as the destination is the very most southern border of the Soviet Union near Pakistan. Snake's drone will have to spend a good amount of time flying right over all of Russia amid a nuclear standoff between the two nations. I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. You have one week. You must catch the boss yourselves and recover the remaining nuclear device. Having the US kill the boss wouldn't exactly prove their innocence. It would simply prove they were willing to sacrifice one soldier to avert nuclear war. To put it simply, in order to avoid a full-scale nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence? Right. The higher-ups have decided that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. You were her last apprentice. Snake and the rest of Fox were held for interrogation after the boss's defection on the suspicion that they aided her. So of course on this mission to save the world and kill the boss, they send the exact same team and the man who was closest to her for years and might have reservations about pulling the trigger. Control. Unidentified aircraft detected. Altitude 30,000 feet. That's not even an attempt at a Russian accent. The only person who even tried to sound Russian in this game was Khrushchev. Defying all odds, Snake lands at the exact same landing spot he previously landed at. Let's go over your mission objectives one more time. Rescue Sokolov. Find out what's happened to the Shagahod, then destroy it. And finally, eliminate the boss. I think Khrushchev would be pretty unhappy with those first two objectives. He demanded the US kill the boss and Volgan. He said nothing about taking Sokolov and destroying the Shagohod. This mission will be codenamed Operation Snake Eater. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a subtitle. The password is Who Are the Patriots and Lali Lulelo. You mean to tell me that Zero, years from now, remembered back to these passwords and thought to himself, hey, that could work for our secret organization name? You've been equipped with a 45 for this mission. Be careful, it's noisy. I thought standard Fox procedure was procure on site weapons acquisition. The circumstances are different this time. You're now on an official mission for the United States government. If that's the case, you could have provided Snake with more than a silenced pistol. Actually, there's no reason this time that Snake can't use the weapons of defeated enemies. In the other games, they use the explanation that weapons are ID tagged to nanomachines and won't work for anyone else. But this is said during the Cold War, well before any of that technology. Yo! You're Snake, aren't you? Sigan later becomes the DARPA chief and dies in Shadow Moses. His personality changed quite dramatically over the years. Paramedic is also Dr. Clark. Her change is even more extreme, because Naomi described Dr. Clark as a man. A horse with a saddle means someone rode it here and is nearby. Not the time to be petting it. What are you doing here? You know what she's doing here. You expected to find her here as part of your mission to kill her, after all. That would crush Snake's hand beyond what he could repair with his field kit. If we meet again, I'll kill you. The boss says this, but doesn't kill Snake the next time she sees him. Snake somehow failed to hear Eva's motorcycle drive up in the dead of the night. Are you the agent they sent? Are you Adam? I thought you were supposed to be a man. Adam couldn't make it. The KGB operative, codename Adam, that Snake was supposed to meet here is actually Ocelot, but for some reason he never shows up or performs his duty to help Snake at all, never knowing that Eva would step in and do the job for him. And since Eva isn't even the real Eva, I'm not sure how she even knew to meet Snake here. It was really one massive, fortunate coincidence. Say the password. <laughs> Who are the Patriots? 
Speaking of coincidences, Eva doesn't know the password, but some random soldiers show up for her to kill and Snake never brings up the password business again. The name's Eva. A pair of boobs are introducing themselves to me. Snake, huh? Well, I'm Eva. Are you here to tempt me? No, it's just more perfect alignment of names to fit Kojima's heavy-handed writing. What's that? A disguise to make you look like a scientist. Since Eva was grabbing disguises for Snake, she could have also grabbed a soldier's uniform so Snake could easily sneak through the jungle to reach the research facility. You'll need to head north through the jungle. You'll come to a heliport used for shipping materials. Pass the heliport and continue north and there will be a large crevice. Eva can drive around in her motorcycle suit through the jungle all the way back to the base without arousing suspicion or being seen. Just drive Snake closer and drop him off instead of sending him the long way around. Why was Eva even changing? She was wearing her riding outfit when Snake fell asleep and wore them all night, and for whatever reason is changing back into them next to Snake. It's not like there's a shower in this ruined building. We can use this to get to the basement. That isn't a basement. That is a crawl space. It's a nice gun. I'll give you that. But the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. Snake just destroyed the entire skin DLC market, but also made the case for skin gambling. Ocelot's face should have been ripped to shreds after getting hit with a motorcycle. Six shots. That thing only carries six shots. The Makarov carries eight. You have to get a feel for how many you have left. I counted a total of five gunshots Snake heard while sneaking away from the factory. The single action army holds six. And while a revolver user would normally only load five rounds as a precaution, Ocelot has never been shown to do that. There should have been a round left in the chamber to kill Snake. Don't! Can't go creating any more time paradoxes after all. Eva did not have anywhere near enough room to build up speed to ramp over the building. Not to mention you need a smooth incline for ramping. Driving up the stairs would actually slow her down and make it even harder. And someday they might make movies where you control the characters yourself. Kojima casually pointing out his game design philosophy. It makes Ocelot look endearing, but I really don't think a meow makes for a good signal to the troops. Trying this against an actual swarm of hornets equals dead. Due to the pain's extreme kindness or lack of foresight, he chose to fight Snake in a cave filled with water, a place where his hornets are mostly useless. Anywhere else and Snake would not have had a chance. The Soviets have jet-powered platforms. Sometimes I think Kojima gets really impressed with the articles he reads in Popular Science and thinks these inventions are actually useful and economically viable. I'd be really curious to learn where Vulgan's electrokinesis comes from. I felt the same way playing Metal Gear Solid 5 where he has pyrokinesis. There is an awful lot of molesting that happens in this game. I don't think I would get on a tightly packed train with Kojima. One of these three guns has a single bullet in it. I'm going to pull the trigger six times in a row. Volgan is cool with this despite the fact that if Ocelot accidentally killed Sokolov, the Shagohod would never be finished. With Kojima's fondness for urination, I'm starting to wonder which of the actors in Death Stranding is going to be the one to continue the tradition. What exactly don't you like about James Bond? I mean, is it the fantastic gadgets? The cars? The guns? Major. Snake, wouldn't you like to have a gun shaped like a pen? I just want to point out that Zero ends up secretly ruling the US and much of the world. He loved Bond movies so much that he ends up becoming a Bond villain. Sticking your press into the game that will then be reviewed by the same magazines is a bit questionable to me. It is a revolutionary mobile nuclear missile system. A bipedal tank. Grannon is the one who originally designed the concept of the Metal Gear. However, his design looks exactly like Rex, which was the second generation Metal Gear designed by Otacon. Grannon also has a Metal Gear Ray figure on his desk. So Grannon designed Rex, then before even building it, designed Ray to counter it. I know that these are supposed to be more Easter egg than fact, but I'm pointing out how insane the connection is because Easter eggs are not supposed to conflict with canon. A kind of Metal Gear, if you will. Metal. Gear. He said the thing he's known for saying. They had to crowbar the reasoning for saying that into this game. Yes. Sokolov's pathetic shagohard pales in comparison to my work. What are you going to do with a rocket engine on a tank? Grannon really doesn't like Sokolov because Sokolov's research has replaced his own, but it looks like their research would have lined up perfectly. Sokolov created the Shagohod, which is a nuclear tank, and Grannon was designing Metal Gear. The only difference is one walks while the other doesn't. No. My money, my men, all have been diverted to the Shagohod project. Tomorrow they will be conducting the final test. 
While Sokolov is making the final preparations in the weapons factory at Volgin's main base, the great fortress of Grozny Grad. Sokolov claimed that without him the Shagohod could not be completed. But it's only been a week since then and the Shagohod is now nearly complete, which tells me that it was already pretty much finished and Sokolov wasn't needed. You don't complete a half-finished nuclear weapons platform in a week's time. An elite military unit should know the benefit of working together, but the Cobras all challenge Snake one by one. The fear somehow has optic camouflage decades before it was created in the game's own fiction. Otacon even said his was a prototype. Let me just take a few sins off for the end sniper fight, one of the best boss fights in gaming history. I am the end. I am here to send you to your ultimate fate. The end is only using tranquilizers, so the only fate he can give Snake is knocking him out and placing him in an unlocked cell back at the research lab. The end can photosynthesize like a plant for energy. However, the only skin he has exposed is his head, which would seriously reduce the amount of sunlight he can absorb. Quiet in Metal Gear Solid 5 does the same thing, and she has to be practically naked for it to work. God knows why, but I'm taking a sin off for a 2 minute and 30 second ladder climb. But I'm pretty certain if I sin this, the like ratio in this video is going to drop dramatically. Eva changes her clothes at the weirdest times. She would have already have changed into her riding suit before leaving to meet Snake at the mountain ruins. But here she is changing once again after arriving. What is it? The food of the future. A well balanced meal for the space age. More like a regular meal for a college student. Major Ivan Rydenovich Rykov. Pretend you're him. Kojima was determined to get back at everyone who didn't like playing as Raiden in Metal Gear Solid 2, even if it meant suspending their disbelief that there would be a Soviet colonel who looks just like him, and that Snake would have a mask of his face already on hand for no explainable reason. There's a lake 30 miles north of here. I hid a wig there. A wig? It's a state-of-the-art ground effect vehicle. While undercover, Eva somehow stole a wig from the airfield, landed it, and hid it in a nearby lake without anyone becoming aware. No way would that bike make that jump. But what's even more unrealistic? She would have had to make the opposite of that jump while coming here, meaning she jumped up from that bottom cliff earlier to get here to meet Snake. It would be a lot easier to sneak Snake into Grozny Grad on your bike rather than have him go through some tunnels. Hell, had you brought a rope, he could rappel down. Eva was the one who gave Granin the shoes with the tracking device hidden inside. I don't see why she would since Granin was not important to her mission. I came back from space. As I returned, I had one vision. The world set ablaze. The Fury's vision of the world from space is basically the polar opposite of the bosses. Makes me wonder why he admired her so much. This is supposed to be a microbomb going off inside the Fury, yet somehow he goes all Imhotep on Snake. At least we don't have Rose asking us if we remember what day tomorrow is. That was the worst part of playing Raiden. Won't be needing this anymore now that I'm in the heart of the enemy stronghold. Sokolov gives Eva the data on the Shagohod. He stated that the Shagohod will usher in a chilling new world and that he didn't want to finish it for that reason. Giving Eva the data so more can be created elsewhere undermines that entire point. She didn't even have anything to offer him since she couldn't get him out of here. The final preparations for Phase 2 are complete. Sokolov, what exactly is Phase 2? In Phase 2, a rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the Shagohod. Phase 2, the phase that no one else could complete but Sokolov, was simply bolting rocket engines onto the Shagohod to get it up to speed. Using this booster, the Shagohod can achieve a land speed of over 300 miles per hour. And from this state of accelerated motion, it launches a nuclear missile. So, the Shagohod acts like the first stage of a rocket. An extra 300 miles per hour means nothing when you are talking about needing speeds of up to 15,000 miles per hour for intercontinental ballistic missiles. And missile guidance is based off of knowing the starting location. Moving the missile at high speeds for three miles before launching would make it impossible to aim. Not only that, with the Shagohod, there's no need to construct giant silos like the ones used to house ICBMs. No, you just need a three mile long runway pointed in the direction of your target, and runways are easily destroyed by explosives. And since the Shagohod pulls itself forward with augers, it would tear up the runway with every use, requiring it to be repaved before launching again. It cannot be detected by spy planes or satellites. 
Well, I think the runway would be easily spotted by those actually, as well as all the supplies, personnel, logistics, and infrastructure required to maintain the Shagawad. And the missile it fires is still detectable by early warning systems. It's a mobile fortress capable of deploying in secret and launching its payload at any time. You know what else can hit any target in the US with a nuke by surprise? A nuclear submarine, which the Soviet Union had plenty of. In what way is the Shagohod better in one of those? He's going to ship them to Eastern Europe, to Asia, to all the countries of the Eastern Bloc. Even worse, he intends to use the Shagohod as bait to foment armed uprisings among dictators, ethnic insurgents, and revolutionary groups throughout the Third World. That is a plan I would bet money Volgan could not pull off. Without a nuclear weapon, the Shagohod is just a really expensive tank. And the commitment a nation would have to make to logistics, maintenance, and personnel training means that most third world countries would not be able to buy or use a Shagohod. With all of the molesting and grabbing a person's crotch to check their sex, I would be wary if Kojima ever tried to shake my hand. What is this fairy disguise? Fairy disguise? Hold on. Let me check my social media rulebook to see if I can actually make a joke here. Let's see, section A-2, rule 34, and nope, sorry. Moving on. Admit it, we're after the location of the legacy. The secret fund established by the three great powers during the two world wars. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? $100 billion. Divided up and hidden all over the world. Philosopher's legacy is safely in my possession. In the underground vault of Groznikrat. When interrogating someone, don't give away sensitive information you're not sure if they know. Ironically, Snake is the only one learning anything in this interrogation. What's this? A transmitter? I planted it on him to keep track of his movements. The boss only touched Snake briefly after he arrived. And right now, he's half naked. Where did she plant a tracker on him during their scuffle that it would fall out now? Ocelot is going to end up in an ugly Me Too campaign in the future. The guards threw Snake in a cell with both his radio still on him and the revolver the boss stuck in his belt. It's not as if either was hidden from view. Both can be clearly seen on him. It's especially dumb to leave Snake with a radio when the cell door is activated by someone calling a specific radio frequency. The Fugitive is an odd movie to reference when you're basically aping James Bond films. I'm not really sure why the Sorrow fight is so popular. It's pretty much a walking simulator. He's been dead for two years now. Died two years ago? At Selino Yarsk. You know, those clips you were at. And the boss is the one who did him in. Two years ago, the boss was forced to kill her lover, the Sorrow, in the same location where she would later defect to the Soviet Union and the Shagohod was being built. How convenient for all this to happen in the same place. There was no incline outside this waterfall, so Eva ramping through it is nonsense. There wasn't even a road leading to it. At least this time, Eva has an excuse to change clothes after getting her uniform wet. You know, I've been trained to do this mm -hmm. kind of thing myself. Just relax and let me handle it. Okay. I can't believe how small it is. Yeah, but it gets the job done. Whenever people try to tell me Kojima's games are deep, I always counter by pointing to this scene. But how'd you know there was a transmitter lodged there? Probably because she saw Ocelot shove it into your back. I don't know how he planned to track you with it since the boss was the one with the receiver. Follow this cave and go up the ladder at the end. You'll come out inside Groznygrad, just southwest of the weapons lab. Why didn't you have Snake use that tunnel to escape to here instead of the sewer then? Eva's got the data on the Shagohod. Do you think that's safe? Well, I wouldn't exactly say it's safe. But Khrushchev is a shrewd leader. I can't imagine he'd use it for anything other than deterrence. If that's the case, then why did the US ever launch the first mission to retrieve Sokolov so he couldn't finish the Shagohod? Snake finished placing C3 in the last rocket fuel tank and takes the heart-shaped lump of C3 Eva made, turns it into a butterfly he failed to catch earlier before sticking it to the bomb. All that attention to detail, and then when Snake turns away, the extra lump of C3 is not on the bomb. Eva contacted Snake while he was planting the C3 to tell him that she had finished setting the bomb on the bridge on the other side of the airfield for their escape. How could Volgan capture her miles away from where they are and bring her to the Shagohot hangar in such a small amount of time? To think that lovely Tatiana was a spy. You knew she was a spy from the beginning when you deduced she was KGB by the kiss of death lipstick she had on her. What is the philosopher's legacy? Very well. I'll explain it before I kill you. Bond movies exist in this universe. Zero talks about them a lot. And here's Volgan playing right into the worst stereotype of them. During the last great war, the most powerful men in America, China, and the Soviet Union had a secret pact. And they amassed an enormous sum of money to fund these projects. 
enough to fight the war five times over. That's an odd secret alliance considering China had not been in good shape for over a century, and Russia had done away with all of its former ruling class during the revolution. Why would the new Soviet government be fine allowing a group of rich bourgeois to continue to control the country from the shadows? The same goes for the Chinese, who also had a communist revolution. The world was once one, but the conflict between the philosophers has torn it in two. We will use the legacy to heal that rift and make the world whole again. Your plan is to sell an ICBM launching tank to every third world nation and guerrilla group in the world, ensuring constant small-scale nuclear wars across the globe. How does that fit into making the world whole again? Boss, take this someplace safe. Why not trust the woman who betrayed her own country to join you, and you know to be a member of the philosophers with a microfilm containing their legacy? Volgan knows Snake planted C3 in the hangar to destroy the Shagohod. Why waste time fighting him in the place he knows is about to explode? Look for the bombs. Like the Metal Gears that follow it, the Shagohod can roar for some reason. Why exactly can the Shagohod crawl around on its augers? Those are screws meant to act as propulsion. Slamming them into the ground would damage them. And this thing is designed to launch ICBMs from a protected runway deep in friendly territory. Yet it has all sorts of needless weapons like machine guns and missiles, and can even separate from its back half. You cannot ramp a motorcycle without an incline. I know it looks cool, but at least put a wooden plank or something down first. It almost feels like Metal Gear Solid 3 took a page out of the Twin Snakes book, since Snake blows up debris with a rocket that explodes right behind Ocelot who would have also been killed by the explosion. A hind is a gunship. It doesn't need to fly low to ram its target. Sokolov said the rocket boosters on the Shagohod were based off the Vostok rocket that sent Yuri Gagarin into space, but these rockets are clearly turbojets with compressor intakes. The Shagohod can move at speeds of 300 miles per hour with the rocket boosters, yet can't catch Eva and Snake on a motorcycle on the runway. Volgan survives this. Sort of. The whole point of blowing the bridge was so the Russians couldn't follow them during the escape. Where are all these soldiers on motorcycles coming from? <laughs> They survived this. Snake was thrown into a tree, then fell a good distance to the ground, and Eva was impelled on a branch. I'm sure a second American-made nuke going off in this area will really help de-escalate the tension. Dead boss or not, there would be retaliation after this one. Yesterday's ally becomes today's opposition. And this Cold War? Think back. When I was leading the Cobras, America and Russia were fighting together. Now. Consider whether America and Russia will still be enemies in the 21st century. Somehow I doubt it. I've got bad news for you, boss. So then what is an enemy? Is there such a thing as an absolute timeless enemy? There is no such thing, and never has been. And the reason is that our enemies are human beings like us. They can only be our enemies in relative terms. It all sounds very deep. Really, it does, in a high schooler just learning about history sort of way. Even as the Soviets seemed poised to send their first man into space, America was still experimenting with chimpanzees and rockets. The government wanted human data. So they secretly decided to send a human being into space. I was the one they chose. Why be the first nation to send a human into space, then never publicize it if the US was so worried about the Russians beating them? The true holders of power in the United States, the Republic of China, and the newly formed Soviet Union gathered together in a secret meeting that would later be known as the Wiseman's Committee. The secret pact they formed there marked the beginning of the philosophers. But the last of the original members died in the 1930s. That contradicts Otacon telling Snake at the end of Metal Gear Solid 2 that all the names they recovered from Arsenal Gear died over a hundred years ago. In June of 1944, the Cobras and I took part in the landing at Normandy. I was pregnant at the time. I gave birth on the field of battle. I'm not sure which game has a more unrealistic view of women fighting in World War II. This game or the trailer for Battlefield 5. This is proof that I was once a mother. I think they missed your womb with that cesarean section. Unless you were giving birth to a xenomorph. I'll give you 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, MiGs will come and bomb the hell out of this place. MiGs will come and bomb the hell out of a remote lake right next to a facility that was just nuked? And furthermore, the only MiGs that the boss could possibly order to do this would be Colonel Volgan's plane stationed at the Groznygrad airfield, which the boss would have just nuked. 
This entire video would be a farce if I didn't remove a couple sins for the boss fight. Kojima needs to add a disclaimer when something like this happens on screen, so the player can know if it's just a film student style thematic moment that isn't actually happening, or if the boss's scar really turned into a snake. Too heavy. I refuse to believe that because Ocelot destroyed one of the engines on the wig, that it can't take off due to his 160 pounds making the craft overweight. The door he knocked off the plane getting inside would have more than compensated for his weight. I can believe that Eva had an empty revolver after getting through the forest, but Ocelot came here to finish things with Snake. He would have had his guns loaded. The game even made a show of him forgetting about ammo then fixing the problem earlier. <laughs> it's a blank. So was that bullet blank the other times you tried to shoot Snake with it, like back in the sewers? Wouldn't those MiGs have to hail them first to find out who they are? They are flying a Soviet aircraft after all. Oak 19, return to base immediately. Do you read me? This is a direct order from Comrade Khrushchev. Khrushchev can't possibly know that the boss is dead, and a second nuke just went off. No way he would know that a random wig flying away contains Snake and therefore call off the attack. For all he knows, the boss is on board. There is no way Eva would be having this good of a time in the US. For one, she would be a wanted spy according to her history. At the very least, her cover would be blown that she isn't the former NSA codebreaker who defected, since that person was male and there would have to be someone here who would know that. That is one flammable radio. Snake is the type to put his pants and combat boots back on after sex. I have to apologize. I wasn't sent by Khrushchev. I'm not a KGB spy, and I never worked for the NSA. I'm an agent of the People's Republic of China. Adam and Eve were two NSA co-breakers who defected from the Soviet Union and were ordered by the KGB to assist Snake in his mission. However, the real Eva never appeared, and Adam, who was Ocelot, never followed those orders. And Ocelot was never an NSA codebreaker who defected to the Soviet Union, and is actually the boss's child who was taken by the philosophers. So how this all ended up working out for all parties involved is an act of God. So does Eva plan on driving that motorcycle back to China from Alaska? It would be pretty hard for her to get out of the country. My mission was to find out where Volgan was hiding the philosopher's legacy and steal it. So I infiltrated his base as a KGB spy. The two NSA codebreakers who defected in 1960 were actually both men. Eva was incredibly lucky Snake was never briefed on that fact and that they chose a feminine codename for one of them. Vulgan destroyed Eva's radio back when they discovered she was the spy. How does she have another one here in the US? I hereby award you the title of Big Boss. Snake saved the world from nuclear Armageddon and all he receives is a distinguished service cross. The boss's defection was a ruse set up by the US government. It was all a big drama staged by Washington so they could get their hands on the philosopher's legacy. And the boss was the star of the show. They planned it so that they could get the legacy that Colonel Volgan inherited and destroy the Shagohat at the same time. Since the US was sending the boss on a secret mission to recover the philosopher's legacy by pretending to defect to Volgan's side, why do they complicate this by sending Snake on a mission to the same place that they planned for him to fail? The boss's defection would have went smoother without him being there. But then something happened that no one could have predicted. Colonel Volgan fired an American-made nuclear warhead at Sokolov's research facility. Maybe they shouldn't have given Volgan two nuclear mortars then and eliminated the possibility altogether. The boss wouldn't be allowed to come back home alive. And she wouldn't be allowed to kill herself. At the very end, the boss ordered an airstrike on her position, which would have been the same as killing herself had Snake not done it first. The taint of disgrace will follow her to her grave. Future generations will revile her. From what I understand of it, barely anyone outside of the intelligence community even knows of her existence, so I don't think her legacy is going to be stained that much. I hope no kid comes along and finds that. 